Hello, my name is Liz Titus and welcome to my channel. Today's video is for the complete beginner in photography. I shall go through some of the controls in the camera and then I will let you know the equipment you will need just to get started. Remember, this video is for the complete beginner in photography. I will point out a few features for you, just enough for you to get started taking some pictures. Notice top left hand corner, there is a button that is your shutter release button that you press when you're taking your photographs. You will see the lens we have on this camera and inside the rim, it tells you what the specifications are for this lens. I strongly suggest you buy a good camera strap that goes round your neck and attaches to your camera. Firstly, it allows you to have your hands free when you're not taking photographs. And secondly, it offers added safety should you drop your camera. This image shows your camera mode dial. And this is where you'll tell the camera how you want to capture an image. Do you want the background blurry? Do you want the whole picture sharp? Do you want to be able to capture a sharp, fast paced sports image? This is where you give your camera directions. We are going to start out in the automatic mode. That's usually on most cameras in green and here in this camera you'll see it's got A plus beside it. Here the camera makes all the decisions for you. You don't have to worry about anything except taking the photograph. By doing this, you'll get used to handling your camera without too much stress. This image is taken from the side of a lens and here I want to point out the switch that's got AF, MF on it. We're going to start out by having the switch on AF, which stands for automatic focus, as that's the easier one. Here, the camera does the focusing for you. You press the shutter halfway down, camera focuses, and then you continue taking your shot. MF stands for manual focus. And here, the photographer decides how to focus the shot himself or herself. Your camera should come with batteries and a charger. If not, it's very easy to find online. I would suggest that you get into the habit of keeping two fully charged batteries with you at all times whenever you go out to photograph something or somebody. There is a wide selection of memory cards to choose from for your camera. Now, once you've taken some pictures, I suggest you download them immediately onto another device so as not to lose your cherished pictures. This is an image of a card reader that can be used with a laptop or with a smartphone, and you can directly download your images from there. Your camera will come with an inbuilt flash, which I find a bit limiting. I prefer the external flash. Using the external flash, you have more control of what direction you want your light to go in. You can bounce that light off a wall even. It gives you a lot more control. Definitely a good idea to invest in a good camera bag. It keeps all your equipment together. Plus it protects it from weather, it protects it from damage, and everything's ready, you just have to pick up your bag whenever you leave. When purchasing a camera, you will notice that some shops sell what they call bundles. That is a camera with several items that will go along with it at a very reasonable price. Before you run and buy something like that, check out exactly what are they offering. It may not be such a good deal. The lenses might, need, might not be that great. So check out carefully before you buy. Eventually what you will need is a tripod. The main advantage of a tripod is it prevents camera shake. Right guys, almost finished this video. What I want you to do now is take your camera and put the mode in automatic mode on that mode dial, the green A plus on some cameras. On your lens, I want you to put it at AF automatic focus 
and I want you to go and take some pictures. Take them at different times of the day, different lighting, and um, then come back and study them. Some are going to be really good and some not quite so good. And ask yourself, what made that one better than the other one? What did I do differently or what was different in the situation? I think before long you'll realize just how important lighting is. And that's something we're going to discuss in our next video. We're going to talk about lighting and exposure. And then we'll go through some of the modes on the mode dial. But in the meantime, get that camera, get moving, go outside or stay inside and take some amazing photographs. And most importantly, have yourself some fun. See you next time. Thank you everybody for watching and do not forget to subscribe and leave some comments below.